I've just got back from a ride in the Hunter Valley here in uh, New South Wales, Australia. And I've nearly finished this project and I thought it'd be worth um, doing a video and putting it up online. And it may help people who are doing similar, whether it be here in Australia or anywhere in the world for that matter. So I'm just going to give you a bit of a talk through what I've done. Uh, the goal was to produce a bike that looks industrial and it's got that stripped back minimalist look which has been my vibe with a car I drive. You know, I've got a 68-year-old uh, car uh, made here in Australia, and even you know, the houses that I live in and build, that sort of thing. I like that industrial look, really simple, minimalist, stripped back, but it works and it's solid. So this was a standard R1150R BMW, 2004 model, and it was standard, absolutely off-the-shelf standard. I don't think the guy done into it. I'm the third owner for it. I've only had this bike for four months and I've only been working on this like you know, a couple of hours here and there on the weekends. So I've knocked it over really quickly. Haven't even, I probably had spent about $1,000 on it all up. And that'd be it. So I'll give you a bit of a talk through what I've done. First thing, obviously, is I stripped everything off it that I, uh, I didn't want or didn't really, really need. And I sort of lined up most of that over here. So it had the top box with the rack and the panniers. It had a little um, little fairing at the front. It had the front guard, that mud guard, and also the front guard on the, there. Some uh, plastic cover strips. A muffler that um, weighs probably 10 kilos or more. Swapped out the handlebars, uh, took out the end caps. The mirrors that sort of stuck up out of the way and cut off the uh, the pillion pegs and I'll, I'll come back to some of these in a minute so when i sort of take, took those things off and i literally marked these up the pillion pegs and cut them off with a grinder because they hung down and i wanted to expose this wheel because this mono axle wheel is a beautiful design aspect of bmw However, this model and most have the exhaust that sort of hangs right through it, the muffler. And I couldn't find anywhere online where, you know, oh, what does it sound like without it? Still got the catalytic converter and everything. So I literally, a couple of screws, took the whole thing off, and I sliced that just at a slight angle, sprayed all this black. In fact, sprayed the whole motor black. But I couldn't find, well, what does this sound like? Um, so I'm going to put this up now. about a metre away, free peak for you Americans. That's just sitting on idle. Past Rego, no problems at all. And it's sewing machine quiet. The only thing is, it's, it's got a bit of that lower end to it, which I really, really love. And with a flat two as well, it's just got that heavy sort of big end to it. Obviously went through and sprayed, once I'd pulled all the plastic and Tupperware off it, sprayed the whole frame black. So I took the tank, the seat and everything off. And I sprayed all of this with a flat black, but obviously using an engine, um, an engine enamel. So this is the one I used, I think it was about 15 bucks a tin, flat black engine enamel because it, it hardens up and it'll take the heat as well. Particularly down on a bike, you're going to get stones and everything flicking up against it. But just remember the paint needs a couple of weeks to cure and go really hard. Uh, I wrapped the pipes on both sides because I wanted that industrial look. Also protects them a bit more. I did use those in the black wrap. However, it started to fade pretty quick as it heated up. So a bit of this touched up on it, just blackened it up again. I did spray the rims uh, in a satin black, but you could do it in a flat and the whole engine right through. I took the tank off and uh, the seat and everything when I painted it and before you go geez mate you're a pretty average painter look at all the orange peel on that this is a hammer tone finish so here in Australia um, Dulux is a very popular tin of paint so that's just a hammer hammered finish 
charcoal. They're really dark. You can't get them silver, but I wanted that sort of dark look to it. However, once you've finished that, after you've given it four coats minimum, you really do need to give it three or four coats of clear, same sort of high heat, because you get um, you get a spill of, of petrol on that. It'll strip the paint off pretty quick. And most, most modern vehicles now have got that clear over them anyway to protect them. I, uh, this had the plastic hanging down the back here, about that far. So I literally just trimmed that off and moved the number plate up a bit higher. Because I wanted to have that mono look and that wheel just spinning out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I can take these, I'm going to put pins in these. So I can actually retrofit them back on. So if I do have a pillion, I can just slot those back in onto there. But as you can see, they do they do cut into the wheel a bit. But for a pillion, and then when you're done with it, you can just take them straight off again. It's a handy sort of thing. Uh, the front guard, most of you that have got a BMW know it's, it's got that little plastic bit at the back, hangs down, and then it's got the plastic bit at the front that sits up on there, which is really cool. I did try spraying it to look how it fitted in. And it's sort of cool because it gives you that sort of streamlined look which bmw went for obviously however in taking that off i found this on ebay and it was made in china i think it was made for a harley they advertised as a rear guard for a harley and looking at the diameter i think it was for like a a 20 inch rim or something like that bmw's are 18 inch front and back however it's fitted really really well i think it was 60 bucks all up and all i had to do was drill a couple of holes use the exact same existing uh, change the bolts out slightly uh, so to fit and open up the whole thing and obviously I had to you know, spray that. I was thinking of spraying that coil in a, like a yellow or something just to make it stand out a bit industrial. See how we go. But that has worked really well and it's solid as. I've mentioned the rims, painted those off in the black as well. Pulled them off obviously to paint them. When I swapped out the um, the handlebars. BMWs are known for a very comfortable ride in the riding position. So you can see how that's changed. And there was a little bit on the end of that, which I cut off. So that's how it did stand. So I took those off, put in more of a flat bar. Uh, I think once again, those were only like 40 bucks for the bar. And then I've took out the mirrors that used to sit up high for these bar in mirrors. And they're great for lane splitting because you can just flick them in. However, when I did that, these have hand heated hand grips. But here in New South Wales, close to Sydney, you don't need the heated hand grips. And I wasn't going to muck around with drilling the holes and feeding the wires right through again. That is the switch for it. So that's off, medium and high. So what I did want to do is have that industrial look. And some of the research I did, I saw bikes that had like a spot on the front or a, you know, another flood. So I put that flood on the front and I wired it up to the heated hand grips. And that's on low. So it just gives you enough glow. I mean, if you've been driving, most people now have got running lights or driving lights, you know, when they, it just automatically comes on. But a yellow light really does stand out. So I put that on the front. I did try a couple of others, but really happy with that one. I actually pulled that off my tractor. However, it was clear. So what I did do is I just pulled the lens out and I sprayed it with this uh, Krylon stained glass canary yellow. You get all different colours. I think it had four to six coats of that. And it worked really, really well. I did try yellow film first but the film got a bit of dirt behind it and water behind it. it just started peeling off didn't work really really happy with that and how it's come up you know canary yellow from Krylon so I'll just do a walk through so you get to the other side and have a look I kept the same BMW tail lights I was going to swap that out but quite happy with that there's the shaft drive painted that off black Pulling off the plastic and the Tupperware exposed like, you know, your brake fluid reservoir and all that sort of thing, all blacked out. 
right through. I may eventually paint this off black as well. So this bike is a 2004 model. It's only done like 56,000 kilometers. As I said, I'm the third owner for it. But I'm really happy the way it's come up. All this engine, uh, the instrument cluster and the, and the light. Pull that off and the little panels here on the side. And uh, they had four coats of flat black, exactly the same. And the last thing I think is the is the tyres. So this obviously had road tyres on when I bought it. Um, and in my research, I discovered that some really good brands um, wouldn't give you an 18 on the front that I wanted. So I've ended up settling on the Pirellis. And they're a 60-40 tyre. And these are the Pirelli Scorpions. And I've been wrapped with them. Absolutely wrapped. I've got about, as you can see, the mud on the bike. I've got about uh, half a half a kilometre before I hit tar. And when I sort of, a bit of a hill climb to coming down to the tar, down to the main road. And just in wet weather, Matt, the front tyre would slide. These tyres are brilliant. And on road, you would not know the difference, hardly know the difference that you're not on a, a full road, road tyre. So that gives you a bit of a talk through for the BMW. I really hope that you uh, you find that this, this is helpful. I might leave comments open on this video, and if you've got any uh, questions, you can you can flip me a flip me a chat, and I'll I'll get back to you. Cheers.